children. Is that right? Correct, right? That is previously we have studied about good conductors and bad conductors. That is the conductors which that means the metals which allow the flow of current. That is flow of electrons are said to be good conductors, and the metals which are not allowing are known as bad or poor conductors. Conductors are said to be considered as which will be conducting the current. That means the flow of electrons. While insulators are classified as having no free electrons. Those are said to be as insulators. And by coming to insulators, you can see the best examples are plastic, rubber, wood. All those are classified as insulators because they are poor conductors or bad conductors. Now let us see. For example, in our homes, our parents or anyone will be saying us some precautions such as don't touch any electrical things or any wires with the wet hands. That is the precaution, or they will be saying for our safety side, right? That is why we should not touch any wire or anything which is allowing the flow of current with a wet hand. That is the what is the reason behind it? Let us see that. Now we have learned about the good conductors that will be conducting, and why we have not to. That means what is the reason why we should not touch those electrical equipments? That means we will be testing with the help of the tester why we should not touch it. The reason behind that will be knowing that. Take a tester and you place it near to the electrical wire. That means, for example, let us take one. For example, my battery is there. Let us assume this as battery. And you have tapped the wire, electrical wire, and you have joined, placed it with the bulb. This is bulb. Now, here I am placing the tester. This is the tester. I am testing. And this is the battery. I have kept for the sake of power supply to the bulb. Now the bulb is glowing, right? Now I will be taking this texture and I will be placing near the switch, right? And you will be seeing that if at all there is a leakage in the current, then the texture will be glowing if at all you place it on the switchboard also. Then you will be observing that the current shocks and all those frequently occurring is because of the leakage of the current and it will be passing through the switchboards also. And if at all you press the switch buttons, Obviously, you will be getting the current and you will be getting the shocks. And in order to test it, we will be using the tester. For example, let us take copper or aluminium batteries. Suppose, assume these batteries as copper or aluminium batteries. If at all you place the tester, the tester will be glowing because they are the good conductors. The sign itself, the tester glowing itself indicates that these copper and aluminium are the good conductors of electricity. By coming to rubber, plastic and wood, if at all you make this battery or cell with rubber or plastic or wood, anything, you will be observing that the tester will not glow. What is the reason behind that the tester is not glowing is because they are the poor conductors of electricity. Now, we will be seeing that with the help of the tester, we can classify which metals are good conductors and which metals are bad conductors. Metals or non-metals, whatever it may be. But if you observe here, you are testing with the help of the tester that solid metals or solid non-metals only. Then what about liquids? Does this liquid conduct electricity? Let us see that. The first major question what we arise is: Is this liquids are capable of conducting electricity? Now let us take instead of this that we will be exchanging it with this cell. The cell which is made up of electrodes, you will be seeing that consists of positive, that is cathode and anode. Anode is negatively charged particles, while as coming to cathode, it is a positively charged one. These two electrodes will form into a cell, right? When it is in a salt solution. I hope you know this, we will be seeing it. 
how these liquids are tested, whether the current is passing through this, that means they are good conductors or bad conductors. You will be placing this uh, same tester, but you will be replacing it with the help of a cell. Okay. Now, we will be placing the tester in towards the solution, that means we will be taking two types of solutions such as distilled water and undistilled. Distilled water is the pure water, what you will be getting after removing all the impurities. As per this normal water, you will be observing the lakes, ponds and all. Those are uh, having some impurities and some salts and natural salts will be added to friends. And those water are said to be as natural water and the salt content in the natural water is somewhat more. So, whenever you come across this tester towards this salt water, you will be seeing that the tester is flowing. Therefore, we can say that the salt water are the good conductors of electricity. While coming to this distilled water, you will be not at all observing any flow of current, that means the tester will not at all flow. And this results in that the distilled water are poor conductors of Yeah. 